Young and innocent, but not unaffected. And they've had enough of violence in their community. They're speaking out against it. It all started when they were encouraged to write about their thoughts or experiences with gender-based violence. So we started this project to educate the smaller ones because um, most of the incidents that we have seen is that smaller kids from grade R, they are also being abused and raped and they do not have a voice. So we train them to make sure that they are able to say no when someone is making them uncomfortable in their bodies. And also to educate boys to be part of this, not just by stand by and watch and, and think this is about women and, and girls, they're not involved. The play has now evolved into something bigger. It's been recorded so that it can be shared, hoping to make an impact beyond their own community. These 13-year-old learners also feature in the play. If you're being abused, speak to an adult, because if you keep it to yourself, your abuser will not stop. I'm appealing to men and boys that we respect women. Gender-based violence is a big problem in our country, especially in our community, because breadwinners come home drunk or high, then they start to abuse their women and children, so they end up killing them. From next year, the play will be part of the school's curriculum. It's hoped it will encourage more learners to speak out about GBV. Segu <laughs> Chetty, SABC News, George in the Western Cape.